The Australian Prudential Regulation Authority APRA, has failed five superannuation funds in a performance test against the industry benchmark. The super funds were checked to assess investment performance as well as fees and costs, with some failing for the second time in two years. Now, four of those funds can no longer accept new members, according to APRA. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus APRA assessed 69 My Super products with at least 5 years of performance history, releasing results on Wednesday that showed an overall improvement of the system. Westpac Group's retirement wrap failed for the first time, while for four other funds this was the second time they had missed the mark. Those funds were BT Super's retirement wrap also owned by Westpac Group, Energy Industries Superannuation Scheme, ICE Super, Balance My Super, Lifetime One's Australian Catholic Superannuation and Retirement Fund, and AMG Super. The four products that failed the test for a second time are now closed to new members, APRA said in a statement. Of those four products, three were offered by trustees with plans to exit the industry. These funds have until September 28 to inform their members. There are also plans to assist the 500,000 members of those three products to transfer to new My Super products before the next performance test in 2023. My Super products are where the majority of Australians have their super invested, according to Finder, as it is the simple and often low cost option often offered by default to members. The Association of Superannuation Funds of Australia CEO Martin Fahey told 7 News. Com.au, this affects probably 60% of all Australians that are in an APRA elected fund. People who don't make an election as to the choice of fund and are defaulted into my super. This is the mainstream product that is invested in Australian shares, international shares, infrastructure, and property, and for the vast majority, this is the right product to be in. Fahey agreed the test has been successful in removing some of the habitually underperforming funds. So what we see here is a mechanism that, over the two years, has acted to allow us to resolve the issue of performance as the test defines it, and the vast majority of the people in the funds are moving to new funds. One fund failure has sizable effect the test results for member accounts may look far worse, with APRA showing 44,000 accounts failing for the first time and 559,000 accounts failing for the second time, but Fahey told 7 News. Com.au that one big player is skewing the results. That fund is the Westpac owned BT Superfund, one of the funds which failed for the second time. What we have is one particularly large fund, BT, which accounted for a very significant number of accounts. If you extract that, the numbers are even more amazing than what they are. There were 13.1 million member accounts which passed the performance test. APRA member Margaret Cole said the overall results highlighted the improved outcomes that have been achieved for superannuation members over the last 12 months. Pleasingly, almost 96% of my super superannuation members are now in a performing my super product, equating to 13. 1 million member accounts, Cole said. In 2021, 13 my super products failed the test of which four have since exited. A further five products that failed last year's performance test passed this year. The vast majority of people within those failed funds had moved to new funds as part of a merger with other funds which passed the performance test, Fahey said. How to get the most out of your super fund Fahey says the performance test was successful, but that the next step in reaching a world standard is for people to begin engaging in their super funds. Get in touch with your fund, talk to your fund, get advice from your fund he told 7 News. Com.au. Fahey shared some tips to ensure you are getting the most out of your super fund. If you've got more than one super fund, consider consolidating your fund, he said. Check the insurance on your fund to see if it is appropriate for you. Look at the investment option. If you're a younger person you may be able to take a little bit more risk in terms of a growth option, otherwise you're likely to be in a balanced option. You want to make sure your fund is invested in things that reflect what you're concerned about from an ESG, environmental, social, and corporate governance, point of view, so is your fund pursuing strategies around renewables. Fahey says if you're unhappy, changing your fund is easy, and you can check how they rate via the auto website. When looking for the top performing funds, he advises not to just look at the last five years, 
look at what the performance has been like over 10 years and longer, because for the vast majority of people, superannuation is about 3, 4, 5 decades of investment returns.